Bonjour. Bonjour to all Americans. I am Monsieur Thomas. Today I am here to explain the problem of Bobbin's needle to all of you. And yes, as you can see by my very stylish moustache and my accent, that I am French. And do not mistake that. Now, Bobbin's needle is a problem that is posed by the very famous French naturalist and mathematician George Louis Leclerc, or aka, as you Americans say, Comte de Buffon. And he lived between the years of 1707 and 1788. Now, here is a picture of him. He is quite a dash like me, you know? Anyway, he was born to Francois Leclerc and Anne-Christine Marie. Now, in 1752, he was married to a lovely mademoiselle and had birth and gave one son. But unfortunately, the wife died shortly after the son's birth. Now, when the son was a considerable age, between the ages of 18 and 20, his father sent him on an expedition. But the son was not really interested in nature like his father was, and he, bl and he blindly spent his father's money. But unfortunately, in 1788, during the French Revolution, he was decapitated by the guillotine. Or, as the Americans gestured, he went... It's quite sad that everything was taken from Comte de Buffon when he, w when he was old. But his work shall live on. Now... Buffon's needle consists of having a piece of lined paper and a certain amount of needles. The length of the needles has to be equal to the distance between the lines on the paper. Now, this is my example. As you can see, I have five needles on here. Now, the length of the needles is two inches, or as you Americans put it, two inches. And the distance between the lines is two inches as well. Now, as I told you before, I have sink needles, or five, and three of them are crossing a line. Un, deux, trois, or one, two, three, as you Americans put it. Now, once you have this information, you can put it into the equation and find out the probability of one of the needles crossing a line. Now, this is the formula. Pi is equal to do times the number of drops, which is sink, or 5. And then you divide that by the number of lines crossed, 2 or 3. Then 10 divided by 3 equals 3 and 1 third repeating, which is a value approximately close to the value of pi. Now, it's quite sad that Comte de Buffon died with, in an unknown case. But he died in Paris, France, and I hope that you spread his work and this video to all of your American friends. And with that, I really just want to say to you, au revoir.